China is preparing for one of the most eye-catching displays of advanced technology ever seen, its 2025 military parade. On September 3rd, the world will witness the debut of hypersonic missiles, massive underwater drones, futuristic tanks, and even a stealth loyal wingman drone. This isn't just a celebration, it's a showcase of how fast innovation is transforming defense systems and redefining global power competition. China's upcoming September 3rd parade is expected to highlight a new generation of hypersonic and strategic missiles designed not just to impress, but to signal technological leadership in precision strike systems. Rehearsals in Beijing already revealed covered missile launchers and transporter vehicles, strongly suggesting debuts of Y-series missiles, a family of advanced anti-ship and precision strike weapons that carry the ing or Eagle Strike designation. Among the most anticipated appearances are the YJ-15, YJ-17, YJ-19, and YJ-20. Analysts suggest the YJ-15 is likely a supersonic system, exceeding speeds of 768 miles per hour, which already makes interception challenging. But the true leap lies in the YJ-17 and YJ-19, both expected to achieve hypersonic speeds, over five times the speed of sound. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles that follow predictable arcs, these new designs appear capable of maneuvering mid-flight, enabling them to bypass interception systems. This is significant because maneuverable hypersonics combine blistering speed with unpredictability, two factors that strain current air defense technology. The YJ-20 adds another layer of intrigue. Analysts believe it may be an aeroballistic missile able to maneuver in high-speed flight after separating from its launch rocket. If confirmed, this would mark one of the most versatile strike weapons in China's arsenal, potentially adaptable for sea or air launches. These advancements echo China's stated goal of unveiling hypersonic, anti-missile defense, and strategic missiles during the parade, as Major General Wu Zik emphasized at a recent Beijing press conference. Observers also noted the presence of a new or upgraded road mobile intercontinental ballistic missile system during rehearsals, its canisters hidden under tarps. Although details remain tightly controlled, its inclusion underlines China's ambition to modernize both conventional and strategic deterrence capabilities. Why does this matter to a global audience? Hypersonics and maneuverable missiles directly influence the strategic balance. Nations like the United States, India, and Taiwan are carefully watching because these systems could alter calculations for naval deployments and regional security strategies. Far from ceremonial, this display represents how cutting-edge missile technology is transitioning from research to active deployment. While missiles may dominate headlines, the ground and maritime domains are equally central to the 2025 parade. Photos and videos from rehearsals captured a striking mix of tanks, armored vehicles, and massive undersea drones, all underscoring how automation and survivability are guiding China's next-generation military designs. One of the standout features is the new class of tanks with uncrewed turrets and active protection systems. Unlike conventional designs, these tanks are built to counter modern threats like anti-tank missiles, rocket-propelled grenades, and loitering drones. They feature four-sided radars, integrated propulsion, and even laser weapon systems mounted to disrupt incoming projectiles. Experts suggest this makes them more resilient against the types of portable anti-tank systems that have been effective in other recent conflicts. The PLA's current heavyweight, the Type 99, a main battle tank, has already served since 2011, featuring a 105mm main gun and upgraded armor. But the new tank spotted during rehearsals appears more compact, with advanced radars and active defenses, optimized for mobility and layered protection. This reflects a shift toward armored platforms that combine survivability with digital age capabilities, ensuring relevance against both conventional forces and new drone-centric threats. Equally significant is the Maritime Showcase. For the first time, extra-large uncrewed underwater vehicles, sloughs, will roll through Tiananmen Square. These drones, reportedly about 60 feet long, sport torpedo-like hulls with pump-jet propulsion systems for stealthy undersea travel. 
Naval analysts noted the markings AJX-002, suggesting multiple vehicles of the same class. Comparisons have already been drawn to Russia's Poseidon system, though it remains unclear if China's models are nuclear-powered or conventionally fueled. China currently operates the world's largest XLUUV program, with at least five active prototypes, making this unveiling symbolically important. These underwater vehicles could be tasked with reconnaissance, laying undersea sensors, or carrying payloads, extending China's reach into the deep ocean without risking human crews. Their size and design indicate long endurance and high autonomy. Together, these ground and undersea systems highlight how China is diversifying power projection. Tanks equipped with defensive radars and lasers show adaptation to drone warfare, while autonomous undersea drones reveal ambitions for dominance in a domain where traditional navies are vulnerable. Among the most anticipated highlights of the September parade is the potential debut of the FH-97 Feihong Loyal Wingman Stealth Drone. This aircraft is not just another unmanned vehicle. It represents a breakthrough in collaborative combat aviation. Its role is to fly alongside piloted jets, acting as an autonomous partner that amplifies mission effectiveness while minimizing human risk. Observers of parade rehearsals spotted a large, stealth-shaped, uncrewed combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, bearing striking similarities to the FH-97. If confirmed, this would make China the first nation to display a combat-ready loyal wingman aircraft in active service. Designed to perform high-risk tasks, these drones can gather intelligence, jam enemy sensors, or engage in electronic warfare. More importantly, they relieve human pilots from the riskiest missions, extending the survivability of manned aircraft. For context, the United States has been developing its own loyal wingman, the XQ-58A Valkyrie with an expected operational date closer to 2029. If China's FH-97 is indeed combat-ready today, it signals a substantial head start in this field. Aviation experts like Andreas Ruprecht have described the rehearsals as surpassing expectations, particularly regarding the aviation segment. The FH-97 stealth profile allows it to operate in contested airspace, while its autonomous systems can be networked with piloted aircraft creating what defense analysts call a system of systems. This transforms air missions into collaborative ventures where human and machine work in sync. Combined with electronic warfare payloads, the FH-97 could disrupt radar, shield piloted jets, or extend surveillance networks deep into sensitive regions. What makes this especially important is its timing. With hypersonic missiles threatening surface fleets and sleuths challenging undersea security, the Loyal Wingman drone represents the aerial piece of a multi-domain puzzle. It's evidence that China is not just adding new platforms, but building an integrated ecosystem, aircraft, drones, ground armor, and underwater vehicles that operate cohesively. This integrated approach is what elevates the parade from spectacle to strategic statement. By unveiling the FH-97 now, China signals readiness in technologies many other nations are still testing. It's less about parading prototypes and more about showing operational systems prepared for deployment. This September parade isn't just a ceremony. It's a milestone in how technology is reshaping defense. Hypersonic missiles, futuristic tanks, underwater drones, and stealthy wingman aircraft paint a picture of a nation demonstrating its mastery of innovation across air, land, and sea. For observers worldwide, the takeaway is clear. These are not distant prototypes, but systems actively entering service. China's 2025 showcase may well be remembered as the moment when future warfare concepts stepped out of theory and into reality. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.